hey what's up my name is Stacy Zorok and welcome back to another way of creating IVs here in Cinema 4D so today we're going to use the IV grower here in Cinema 4D to generate grasses on surfaces and the branches so we're going to use the IV grower um, it's a free plugin for Cinema 4D and I also have it the download link below for you to download and you should also go on to download the V-Ray version for Cinema 4D because we are going to use it as the um, render engine for this tutorial and it's fine for you you can use any other render engine um, but for this tutorial case we are only going to use the uh, V-Ray because I think it's almost the industry standard for uh, rendering and I think the earlier the better you should get familiar with V-Ray it's very good so let's start by creating a capsule creating a capsule huh? um, let's create the branches or the extension of the grasses we want to create something that the grasses will extend to so we use the span images we select random points and raise them just to create some variations and the next we go to make it a uh, cubic go to think so okay. so go to plugin IV grower you double click the point you wanted to grow the IVs from then on the give path we select the spline and put it here on the follow spline so the IV is going to follow all the line as you can see it's growing so you can see the possibilities here so after I stop the growth then you can give it a bath you can leave the growth to go on forever and you can choose you can limit the growth to how many frames you want it to grow now we'll create another one we'll go down to growth it's already in the follow spline so we grow again it's going to follow automatically mm -hmm. good then we give birth now get the bath it looks nice so the next thing we do is I think create a material for the capsule so I already have um, textures I snap with a camera it's just some random texture I think we'll find one of them very useful here so go to the diffuse channel the diffuse is the color channel the main color of the object so scroll down I think yeah this is it so open it it's asking whether to replace it or to bring it in the folder click no so we cancel it we drag the material to the capsule now we create a target light then you can also use the target light as a see-through so that you can position it while using the set active object as camera so we click it now we are inside the light we can choose the position because my navigation is on object mode I click the capsule so that it will be very easy for me to navigate around the capsule if you click you see it's very easy to navigate around it if your display is if your camera is the navigation is on um, object mode so you see now it's very good so go to the V-Ray light tag and select a V-Ray light we select the um, uh, area light um, the next thing to do because V-Ray doesn't recognize any other material except for V-Ray material so we go to V-Ray material and uh, V-Ray material converter so now it's going to convert all the materials to V-Ray so that it could render them it's not all materials that V-Ray render so now it's very good and we position it well and take a render Mm -hmm. 
okay now we change the settings to various settings add a global elimination choose the, uh, among the presets is a very very fast LCRC um, light cache and irradiance light then we use the uh, choose the output size and everything it's good as default you choose the path you want it to save us let's just choose it as desktop v-ray mm -hmm. let's go to the format and we hit the render and one more thing we forgot today is to change the light from area light to um, uh, infinite light and we should enable the shadow so we'll go back to the sunlight to see there is nothing because it's not in the infinite light so we have to go back and select the infinite light and under the sunlight now you have the physical sun and the physical sky and that's what we're going to use so that it has a global illumination and outdoor listen so I said this tutorial is very basic and just for you to get the idea and we also need to change the shadow color a bit to uh, somehow a green just to give it a little bit of illumination so click OK <coughs> now we hit render so thank you for watching I hope you subscribe to this channel thank you